This is Andrew from Email Marketing NYC, and I'm very excited to share this video with you because almost nobody does it. And it's, it's something that I combine with, um, use from like different business I have with e-commerce, and I think it's a perfect solution for you to, re to control, first of all, to control review, and second, to control where people will leave those reviews, either on a Google or on a Facebook. And Today, I'll show you how to do it. As well, I'll explain you what's the difference and how it works. So first of all, let's go to uh, Clavio account, click on the flows, and let's say um, create a flow and review request. Typically, you want to do it after somebody purchased from you. Let's do metrics, um, place order, you can do it part of the post purchase sequence. It's, it's up to you, but it's not as important now. Now, trigger split. So, as you know, if you have Gmail account, it, like to be able to leave a review on Google business pages, you need to have Gmail account. You're not able to leave, um, you have to log in to Gmail, uh, sorry, to Google account to leave a review. For example, if you have, have yahoo.com um, domain, like email, you not you cannot leave review on Google unless you create Google account. So tip, like rule of thumb, if you send review requests and asking people uh, to leave a review on Google pages, business pages, it's better to send that kind of email only to people who have the domain ending at gmail.com. Everything else you will send to people, uh, like same email, same wording, but uh, you will direct those people to leave you leave your review on Facebook because bad, the bad is... Uh, majority of people are using Facebook. Um, okay, so how, how do you do this? So you do uh, configure your split and you do domain or email, hold on, place order. So let's do not this one, we'll just do triggers, conditional split. Conditional split and conditional split is property above, so email, email contains gym. okay so basically anybody who uh, have gmail.com will go to yes path and everybody who doesn't have uh, gmail.com at their domain they will go to no path and the difference is between them uh, in here we'll ask them to leave review on google page and here we'll ask them to leave a review on Facebook page. So the next step is to, to add the email. And let's use something simple. Let's do this one. So this is my copy. I'm not e-commerce and I serve as business. I use Active Campaign because Active Campaign is a great tool for a non-e-commerce business. For e-commerce, I highly recommend Clavio. So basically I have start rating and the same thing we'll do here. So just add like five images. Let's do import image, upload. And I just imported those Im oh, one by one, upload. Let's do copy, 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 copy. And let's do this one, replace, upload, five star, upload, replace, upload, four star, upload, replace, upload, four star, three star, upload. And the last one is uh, two stars, upload, two stars. Uh, okay, so now uh, let's say um, in my business, I'll show you. Uh, it can be a simple Google form, but anybody who clicks on three stars or below, you direct them to your 
your form. It can be Google form, it can be a Clavio form, it's up to you. Like in my business, let's say if somebody clicks um, uh, three stars or below, they are providing like feedback and I receiving that feedback. Nobody publicly will see that feedback. And you you say, you might think it's very tricky, but the idea is not to trick the people, but the idea here to follow up and to resolve the issue or resolve why they are not satisfied with my service. So this is internal. In case they click uh, four or five stars, you I direct them to uh, location I want them. So in this case, uh, I think it's a Google. Yes, it's Google review. So when they click here, uh, it's redirect them to Google page and prompt this window. So like, uh, since it's for Google Gmail users, we'll add this link as this link. So when they click, so after they click here, like uh, after the, so the idea of, I mean, the message you have, you will have, it's um, please rate us and leave us review. So first they click, let's say click five star, and they will be redirected to this uh, page, and then they have to leave the review. Uh, in case, in case, yeah. So this, this is how this thing works. Um, okay, done. So now what you do, you do clone and you move this here and add it, add it. You can use even the same copy as telling, you don't need to customize it, like leave us review on Google page or something. Here you just replace the links uh, for four, five stars and four stars with uh, Facebook, Facebook, email, marketing, and I see. And so basically, this doesn't matter. But like, I mean, I, I I don't know how to find my link. How to find the link to my uh, Facebook page? But basically, you just insert the Facebook page link here, and it will redirect people to Facebook. And done. And here you can just say like uh, Google review. And here you have this book review request. Now you just learn how to control your comments, your feedback about your store in general. You can either send people to Google pay, business page or Facebook. Uh, you can also do Yelp and any other service, but it's a little bit harder because people has to have account with, for example, Yelp to leave review on Yelp. Um, on Google, it's very easy to find if they have account, if they have Gmail in and, and Facebook, uh, it's safe bet that they have account with Facebook. Facebook. Only a few people I know in my life that don't have Facebook account. Uh, feel free to ask me more questions about this. Thank you.